Good morning, skiers and riders. Sugarloaf and Carabasset Valley. Hope you're ready for a great Tuesday, enjoying the outdoors. Time for your latest local forecast and trail conditions brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. Find them on Main Street in the Village and find us online on all your internet devices at WSKITV.com to know before you go. For the first day of March today, we're looking at some increasing clouds. We'll see clouds rule out for the day today and then afternoon, evening snow showers uh, could accumulate to one to two inches or so. We'll see high temperatures at the base in the lower 20s. And the lower teens down at the, uh, or up towards the summit. And as far as those winds, we'll see it from the west-southwest, noticeable up towards the top of the mountain. Partly sunny skies for Wednesday, uh, 14 to 18 for your summit temperatures, 24 to 28 for your base temperatures. So fairly comfortable out there, but we'll still hang on to that noticeable breeze up towards the top of the mountain. Chance of some light snow for Thursday could pick up another inch or two. 19 will do it for your high, 5 for your low. 17 for your high on Friday with partly sunny skies and heading into the weekend looks like it'll warm up just a bit with partly sunny skies, high temperatures in the upper 20s. So uh, nice cold temperatures, a couple of chances for some light snow the next couple of days. Things are looking good. Birchwood Interiors brought bringing you this trail report. Check them out in Village West. 94 trails of ski and ride on. Eight lifts getting you there. 56 trails on the groomers list. Pack powder, hard pack conditions out there. You'll find some windblown stuff on some of the sides of the trails and whatnot, but we'll see Snubber and Skidway at 8.30. Moving you around the base lodge. Uh, Super Quad and Skyline get going at 8.30. Double Runner East gets you a little higher on the hill at 8.30 as well. And over on the east side, King Pine and Whiffle Tree are scheduled to open at 9 a.m., Wiffle Tree more intermediate, King Pine more advanced, and Timberline, the uppermost lift, winds and weather permitting today, get, getting going at 9 a.m. Let's find some great views from up there as well. Gondola Line and the extension uh, got groomed out last night, so they'll be open today. Check that out. Also, they flattened the bumps on Skidder. They did leave some of those tables for uh, the race course, though, so be aware of those. But some great fall line skiing there. Uh, Timberline, Bridal Chain, Tote Road, Narrow Gauge, Competition Hill, Skidder, Spillway and Sluice, Gondola Line from the top, Hayburner, King's Landing, and all the trails around the base area all groomed out last night. Hallback, Ramdown, Two Hall, and Wiffle Tree, as well as Cruiser and Slasher on the east side. And over on the west side, you'll find fresh corduroy on scoot so get out there and enjoy it especially that run right over the front face down gondola line is quite a treat current conditions at the shiggle outdoor center fantastic uh, cross-country skiing conditions as well as snowshoeing conditions and the ice rink is open they've got pickup hockey tonight fat bike rentals ice skate rentals ski rentals so everything you need as well as snowshoe rentals, too, down there at the Sugarloaf Outdoor Center. All the narrow-gauge single track is, that's been groomed has been riding pretty good. There's sections of grassy loop that are a bit uh, variable as far as they're bumpy and whatnot, and that loop beside the river is not open yet. Narrow-gauge, or the Arnold, Arnold Trail Snowmobile Club, you can find out more about their Eustace Parking Lot Annual Trailside cooking, Cookout on March 5th at arnoldtrailsnowmobileclub.com or find them on Facebook. Also, know before you go, with us, check out our live quad cam. We stream it on our YouTube channel as well as our uh, on our website so you can see exactly what's happening in real time at the base of the mountain to know before you go. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, that's where you'll find us on social media as well as our website, wskitv.com, and two YouTube channels, one for streaming our uh, live quad cam and the other for all of our latest local content. Enjoy the day, folks.